Welcome back guys, today we're jumping in and we're going to go straight for an enforcer. This is a robotic creature that is basically like the police of extinction. I'm going to show you how to craft one of these bad boys. So sit back guys, relax and let's go craft ourselves an enforcer. So the first thing that you need to know guys when going for an enforcer is the location and the only location on extinction to find these is in the sanctuary area or the city part of the map so you can find these crawling everywhere it's not really hard to find them they are literally everywhere so there's a few options when it comes to the enforcer you can either get some really good equipment like my long neck rifle or a shotgun or anything that can kill an enforcer or you can go ahead and get yourself a very powerful mount whether it's a megatherium or something like that i'm going to be using a megatherium today just because it's easier and this guy is my powerfulest creature i've got so far and he can just tear through anything really but if you don't want to use a creature you can just use a shotgun a crossbow anything like that will do the trick so the first method is the quick and easy method. Now you don't need anything. You don't even need a mount. You don't need no weapons or anything like that. All you have to do is come to a city terminal, which are these things that are placed literally all over the sanctuary anyway. You'll find them very, very common. And all you need to do is open them up and you can see we can already build an enforcer. And this is literally from level one. You don't need to be a high level or anything like that. Literally from the very get go, you can go in here and find this unassembled enforcer and you can just literally get all the materials that it's required and build an enforcer. So it's 50 crystal, 500 elemental dust, 60 metal ingots, 20 oil and 30 polymer. But obviously we don't want to make it that easy. We don't want to be using that. We want to go and get a, an even better one because that one will start at level one and it'll be pretty rubbish. We want to actually go and try and find a higher level one. So what you have to do is scour the map all over and look for an enforcer. There we go guys, we've got an enforcer. Let's have a look what level we got. What level are we? Uh, 35, I reckon I could take this out in one shot. Yes, we can. Okay, Megatherium, you just follow me. Let's go see what we've got. First thing you need to do... Oh, wait there, my Megatherium's going to get stuck under that bridge and he come this way, you silly goose. There we go, come on you silly sausage. Now, we've killed the Enforcer, and, oh, it's there. So when they die, they instantly drop the blueprint for an Enforcer. Now, you might have to, like, drag their body out of the way or something like that. You might be on it. But this one, yeah, this one is an Apprentice one. So that's, a, that's good. So the higher the level, the better they'll be. So if we go over this, we can see now it'll tell us our health, our stamina and everything, or what the creature's stamina and health and that lot would be which is good but the higher the level the better we get so if you want you can just kill them and harvest their body look at that we get electronics elemental dust scrap metal oil the whole works now we just need to keep going around and oh 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 he's gonna go tell an enforcer now oh not on my watch there we go <laughs> There we go, we've got one here now. Can we, uh, oh, let me get off this bad boy a second. What's that, a level 10, so this is gonna be a primitive one. Boom. He's not gonna really have much on him, that one. We need to find a high level one. High level ones have the uh, the high ascended blueprints in them, so they're what we actually want, not these low level ones. Oh, hey, hey, you up, get away you. There we go, you get away. There's a level 55, so where's its drop? There it is. What we got? Oh, we got a journeyman. There we go. So you can see, got a journeyman there. Nice, let's just harvest its body, and away we go. Oh, we got one up here as well. There we go, we've got another one over here, so let's get this one. Quick while, we've got the effect on as well of killing bugs, and we've got a damage boost with our Megatherium. That'll help. All right, you. Level 10, okay, not not too great. Again, another primitive one. We'll take that anyways. Oh, we've got level 135 there, okay. So we, this one should give us quite a lot. Come on, this, could, this should give us an ascended one. There we go. Oh, hello. We've got a defense unit attacking us now. All right, all right. 
Calm down, Flower. There we go. Get rid of you. Okay. So, we've just killed the level 135. And... Oh, it's there. The Mastercraft one. Is it? Yep, there we go. We'll take that. Of course, we're going to harvest its body as well, though. So here we see, guys, we've got two primitive unassembled enforcers. And you can see this level 10 one, what we killed and got its primitive blueprints from. It's got a level 10% health, 10% stamina, 10% energy, 10% damage, and 5% weight. Whereas if we look at this one, it's this primitive one, but it's a level 39. So you can see that it's a little bit different. So even when you do get an ascended one or something like that, you can still get a better one by killing the higher level one. There we go. We've got another one. Come back here, you. Level 65, that might be a good one. Where is it? Where is it? Something attacking me. It is. Ah, get away. Go away. There we go. Right, I found it. It's there. So what we've got here? We've got an apprentice one again, nice. And there is another. There we go. We've got an enforcer there as well. Oh, level 10. These are no good to us. We need a high level one. We need a, like 100 plus. But there we go, look guys, we've got a level 65 here, Apprentice 1, and then we've got a level 35 one, and you can see the difference between the damage and stuff like that, but also the requirement goes up, so this one's got 210 crystal, whereas this one only needs 170 crystal, and so on and so on, you can see the difference between them. The higher and the better level it is, the more materials it's going to cost. 55, no good to us. The only good thing about this is that even when it's the ones we don't want like this... Oh, we've got a ramsack one. We'll take that. We're getting nearly every colour now. But once we don't want something, we can just literally harvest its body. We get all this scrap metal electronics and things like that, which is perfect. So don't be disheartened if you don't find an ascended one straight away. Just think, you can gather resources from doing this anyway. Come on, please. Please be a... Uh high level one mm, 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 85 oh we've got an ascended one okay so there we go look it doesn't matter on too much how high level it is but look at that we've got this this might be weaker than one of our good ones though so this one is 85 health so you can see look how it varies it's all different so from ascended to mastercraft and things like that the higher the level basically you want the highest level enforcer and you want to kill him and whatever one he dropped whether it's master class or an ascended one you're gonna get the best one by the higher the level so if you look at this one that's the highest level and we look at this one that's the lowest level there's just no comparison and even though ascended is potentially higher you can see look it costs more but the health and stuff like that is a lot different So we're back at the terminal now, guys, and the first thing, look, we've got all, we've got them all, we've got all six levels, and you can see, although it's not the powerfulest, we're going to go and craft one of these bad boys, and we're going to just craft one of the small, simple ones for you guys that don't want to start killing everything and doing all that stuff, so you just can come here and craft one of these straight out of the bat. Let's go get the material, and we'll come back. A few moments later. So guys, we're back. We're going to go and put in all our, our materials that we've required. So you can see we've got all the material here. Let's place it all in. And there we go. We can get the unassembled enforcer. So we're going to click on that, wait for it to craft, and we have ourselves our enforcer. And it's the same principle. Oh, it's that one. It's the same principle with when we do any of these. We just craft whatever one it is, and then we have it in our inventory. So here we go. Once we've got our creature all ready and crafted we're just going to go on here and we're just going to press our equip button and boom there we go we've got it so there we go guys that's our level one enforcer there and ready but i do also want to craft that mastercraft one because that one's badass so this one is just going to get used and i'll show you the difference between them both at the end Whoa. 
So the first thing we're looking at is the movement speed. Obviously the movement speed is pretty fast actually, but it's when it's sprinting that it really picks up the pace and makes it worth taming or crafting. It's super fast. And you know what's great about having a creature that is rapid? is also a great stamina to go with it, and that is exactly what the Enforcer has. Don't forget this is a level one as well. And look, it's stamina barely going down. I'm I think this is a great way to travel around. The next thing is the ability that you can jump with the Enforcer. Now this is great, especially mixed in with its speed and its stamina and stuff, as this guy can get around the map very good by jumping around, and it does have a good leap on it as well. Now the Enforcer comes with a lot of weapons with it. Um, the first one is its strike attack, which is like where it just whacks you with its arm and stuff like that. Now this attack doesn't cause too much damage, so I wouldn't be doing it against Rexes or anything like that. But against little creatures, this is fine and perfect to do against. Maybe even stretching up to like trikes and stuff. But because it is rapid, you can get a good few hits on something before it even gets one. But like I say, bear in mind, it's not the powerfulest attack. So let's have a look guys how much damage this can do. So it does 61, but because we can press it rapidly, we can get 124 per second with this attack. Not very great. Now guys, the next attack is a little force push, I guess, and it's not that great to be really honest with you. It just can throw things back. It's literally self-explanatory. And to do this, you press your crouch button. It is great if there's an area that you're getting surrounded by a lot of creatures, you can just use this. But at the same time, it does suck, causing little damage to creatures and only the small creatures, it'll actually push back. So if you're, if you're surrounded by a pack of dodos and you use this, then it's great anything else not so much okay let's have a look at what kind of damage this push does 10 it does 10 i told you it was useless and it fully depletes your stamina now that we've got his attacks out of the way let's have a look at the abilities and one of the best abilities he has is when you use your secondary attack is a short blink attack it's like just a teleporting move so you can teleport around places it's pretty good it's not too bad i just wish it was a lot further than what it is so it's not exactly the best you literally teleport like a little bit in front of you and then that's it and then you gotta wait for it to uh, slowly recover and you'll know when you can teleport because once you teleport, you'll see this arrow needs to fill up before you can then blink again and teleport elsewhere. Once it's blue again, you can teleport. So the Enforcer is also like a rock drake. It can climb. So if you press your sprint button, you'll see this little claw that appears up in the top corner. And that means that if you go up to a wall, you can start scaling it just like the rock drake. And the good thing about this is you can also use your teleporter as well if you want to get up to somewhere. So don't think we can see what I'm doing here, but you can see roughly there's my glitch thing there. And I'll teleport up there and look, I can carry on climbing and I can climb all the way up these towers and stuff just using my blinking and there we go look when we can go fully horizontal and vertical oh i've run out of stamina great well that is a great thing that they can do you can jump off teleport boom look at that there's so much possibility you can do when riding an enforcer and this is the main guy when it comes to getting around the map now when it comes to the gather inside of these enforcers they can't gather berries they can't gather wood they can't gather stone metal or anything like that but what they're good at collecting is these like benches and lampposts and stuff you can break them with these guys and get crystal elemental dust electronics all sorts and they're great for that and even if you kill another enforcer or another defense unit you can get this kind of stuff making it great for collecting tech gear now of course the enforcer can can still collect things like raw meat, raw prime meat, raw fish meat, raw everything like that, all kinds of meat and keratin and chitin and everything like that. Anything you kill, you can sort of harvest it, but you can't collect natural resources. So I did forget guys until I got back to my base that I already had an ascended 120 level enforcer and this is the bad boy. So I ain't got to craft another ascended one, but this is the bad boy. Let's compare the difference, shall we? So really the only thing you'll notice is the higher level of the stats in this guy. But as well, we have four. So that means we can go ahead and keep going and basically whizzing around the map. And you'll notice all four of these also refill at different rates. So you can see the first will refill really fast and the second one a little bit slower. 
third one a little bit slower and the fourth one a little bit slower than that and you can see the first one just does not run out pretty much it refills quicker than i can blink so these blink arrows you get every 40 levels you'll get a new one so when you reach level 40 you'll get the second one level 80 for the next one and then level 120 you get the next one from there so that is why it's more important to tame a higher level enforcer if you can the damage is still just as bad <laughs> they're still not that great when it comes to damage one thing you'll notice when you have an enforcer is they don't actually have a food bar they have this energy bar and the only way to fill this is by giving them elemental dust the energy bar works like a food bar so when it gets fully depleted then it starts depleting the health and they'll die of starvation but when they die you do get their blueprints back anyway so even when they die it's not really a loss kind of like phoenix so with this guy we do 101 damage great and all that but it's actually when you fight the corrupt where you can see the difference so here we have a corrupt dillo and you can see we just batted it with 405 this quadruples the attack damage done to corrupt creatures making this guy great for doing osds because you can just literally kill the corrupted very easily enforcers are actually like the police so if you shoot a good old scout like this and you try and run away somewhere where there is an enforcer this guy will tell the enforcer and the enforcer will then attack you no there we go <laughs> just knocked me back So guys, that's been it for me and my good old Enforcer. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Donate if you can. If not, don't worry. Anything that you can do helps massively. I will see you all next time.